I get retakes? Hello. Am I in the right place? Should I take off my sunglasses? Do you see my hands? All right. <laughs> oh, that is such a good and also overwhelming question. Okay, that's a good one. Um. Hmm. Um. Interesting. Okay. Wow, good question. Uh, any ocean animal. And I could talk to it? If I could ask any animal in the ocean that question, I think I would ask an octopus. I think it might be an octopus. I would like to talk to an octopus. It would probably be an octopus. It's got to be the octopus. Octopus? What would I ask, though? What are they dreaming about when they're sleeping and changing colors? Who is it worrying about encountering during the day? What is its favorite thing to camouflage as? What's it like to be you? How it perceives its world, because I think they're super smart. I would probably talk to my favorite animals in the world, which are corals. Oh, I'd love to talk to a coral. Animals that form calcium carbonate shells. And I would ask them to resist. What's it like being in one place all day? How do you fractionate ice topes? A flat periwinkle snail. Definitely a sea turtle. A sea urchin. An albatross. A manatee. A sea otter. I would like to spend a day with the shark. I want to ask them about how they soar. What it's like feeling so many different temperatures over the course of a day. How much it bothers them when people swim after them. How can you be so fast in your development? How it can float around all day and be so lazy but so cute. <laughs> I will ask him to learn me how to swim because actually I don't know how to swim. <laughs> so seahorse is the dads take care of the babies. Is it good or bad? A dolphin. 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 Um, what are you doing here? <laughs> if they truly do enjoy spending time with humans. Teach us humans how to work better together. A clownfish. Why is it I don't see you at any of the parades, the circus, I would probably spend the day with the whale. Well, it would have to be a blue whale. A humpback whale. Whale, maybe. Probably a narwhal, and I'd want to know if it was the real unicorn. It would have to be the right whale and how old they are. How do you know where you are when you go so deep in the water that it's just pitch black? Ask him to tell about his travels around the world. And what do they sing about? How is it shaken? <laughs> I would ask a frogfish if it hurts their feelings when they're mistaken for a sponge. A giant squid. Jellyfish. Mesoplagic fish. The nudibranch. How about the female anglerfish? What's your favorite food? What do you see? Because they have these giant dinner plate size eyes. How they can grow so beautiful tentacles. What is your trajectory for moving? <laughs> the uh, fish that go up and down in the twilight zone. They're on a marathon going up and down every day. And I'd like to ask them, how do you possibly do it? I would spend the day talking to krill. A copepod. Phytoplankton. Phycodesmia. A little diatom. <laughs> I would ask coccolithophores why they have coccolithophores in their shells. Yeah. <laughs> like, why? <laughs> what it's like just floating along in the ocean for their entire life. How you meet any other diatoms when you're being sloshed about. Like, how's that happen? How is going with the microplastics if their back hurts from the weight of holding up the entire <laughs> marine ecosystem? I feel like I would want to talk to something that lives in a hydrothermal vent. The two worms at hydro hydrothermal vents. Deep sea animals. An isopod, obviously. I would talk to deep sea corals. I would go with the squat lobster on some deep sea coral and I would ask, why are your knees so tired? What they could see, what they do all day when it's so dark. And I would ask them how the real estate market is. <laughs> how much does it snow around you? <laughs> how the heck do you swim through these hot waters and how do you not become gumbo? How does it feel like to have as many legs as it does? <laughs> Right? <laughs> I know, I saw it. <laughs>